In this video, we'll guide you through the setup of your Linksys smart Wi-Fi router, specifically non-mesh models. Whether you're using an EA6300, EA7500, or any other EA series router, this tutorial is tailored to meet your needs. There are different methods to set up your router, including the smart setup wizard and manual configuration. In this video, we'll walk you through the manual setup process. For instructions on using the smart setup wizard, please refer to the link in the description. Step 1. Connect and power on your Linksys router. Connect your modem or internet source to the internet port on the Linksys router and power it on. Wait until the light on the router is solid. Step 2. Connect to the default Wi-Fi name. Once your router is ready for setup, connect the mobile device that you will be using for setup to the default Wi-Fi name of the router. The default Wi-Fi name and password are located on the product label. Step 3. Launch your web browser and enter http colon slash slash linksysmartwifi.com in the address bar then press enter. If you are unable to launch the smart setup, you can enter the default IP address of the router, 192.168.1.1, or type myrouter.local in the browser's address bar. Step 4. The Linksys Smart Setup screen will be displayed. Tick the checkbox beside I have read and accepted the license terms for using this software and then click Manual Configuration. Step 5. If no internet connection is detected, this window will appear. This means that you need to manually change the internet connection settings. Click the login button to proceed. Step 6. You will be asked to enter the router password. By default, it is set to admin. After entering the password, you will now see the web user interface of the Linksys router. To change the internet connection settings, click connectivity under router settings. Step 7. Click the Internet Settings tab under the Connectivity window. Then, click Edit next to the type of internet connection to select the correct connection type. Just to provide a little overview, there are three common internet connection types. The first one is Automatic Configuration, DHCP. This is the default connection type used on Linksys routers. It automatically obtains an IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, and DNS details from your internet service provider or modem, requiring no manual setup. This option is ideal for most dynamic IP connections. After setting your router to automatic configuration, DHCP, sometimes you need to enable MAC address clone. This step is typically unnecessary, but if your ISP uses a cable connection, you may need to do so. Simply click the Clone My PC's MAC button to replicate your computer's MAC address. The second internet connection type is PPPoE. It stands for Point-to-Point -point Protocol over Ethernet which is an internet connection type commonly used by DSL providers. It requires you to enter a username and password provided by your ISP to establish a connection, enabling secure authentication and access to the internet. And the third internet connection type is Static IP. It is an internet connection type where your ISP assigns a fixed IP address that does not change. You must manually configure the router with the provided IP address, subnet mask, gateway, and DNS settings. This is often used for hosting servers or services requiring a consistent IP. Step 8. Once you've chosen the correct internet connection type and entered the required settings, be sure to click the Apply button at the bottom of the screen to save the changes. To check if your router is already connected to the internet, return to the home page of the Linksys web user interface. In the network status section, it should display connected. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more tips and tutorials. Stay connected with Linksys for reliable solutions to all your networking needs. See you in the next video.